In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the 11 online remote jobs that are actually hiring right now in 2024 with no degree necessary. Hold up, wait a minute. Now listen, before you click away and you think maybe this is a little too simple or you already know which remote jobs I'm gonna talk about, in this video, you're either gonna learn the best online remote jobs to apply to, many of which you've never heard of before, or you're going to be reminded which ones are the best. Because I guarantee you there's less than 1% of you that have actually taken action on the advice I'm going to give in this video. Because not only am I gonna tell you which remote jobs are best to apply for, but I'm also gonna give you expert tips on exactly how you can land these jobs, just like James was able to to do at 16 years old, or Brian was able to do at 59 years old. Because it doesn't matter what background you came from or what situation you're in, if you watch this video until the end and you listen to my advice like James or Brian did, you can land a remote job just like them and gain time, location, and financial independence. So sit back, relax, cheers the like button, and let's jump into it with number one on the list. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a medical sweep investigator. And they conduct telephone-based investigations to gather information and analyze information on the medical histories of various different clients. And they typically work in healthcare or for private investigation firms. Now in this position, you'd start off by making about $16.50 per hour. And annually, that's about $34 to $35,000 a year. So it's not the best paying position when you first start out, but there are many positions you can go into down the line that pay much better and this is a great way to get your foot in the door in the medical industry for instance another job you might get down the line would be a senior claims examiner they make 82 to 131 thousand dollars a year or a healthcare compliance officer that makes about 85 to 150 thousand dollars a year these are jobs that have similar skill sets and you could definitely move into them down the line once you got some experience in this job Another job that's similar to this one that you could potentially land would be a medical records investigator, and they make about thirty-seven dollars to $51,000 a year. So yeah, overall, this is a really good one. It's one of those careers that's relatively easy to get into. It is medical related. There may be some training necessary, but usually the company will provide that training for you. But I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be an affiliate marketer or an affiliate marketing specialist and somebody who actually works for a company. So this is one of those positions as affiliate marketer that you could do as a full-time job, or you could do it as your own business. And affiliate marketing is basically where you promote products or services and earn commissions on the sales generated. And it's done automatically through unique referral links. So of course, on this channel, I promote different affiliate offers. And actually, this is the top revenue source of 31% of content publishers. And affiliate marketing related jobs in general make about 54 to $95,000 a year. Now, in terms of the career path, you could start off as an affiliate marketer or an affiliate marketing specialist. That would be the entry level job. Then second, you could become an affiliate marketing manager. They make about 66 to 111 thousand dollars a year. This is not an entry level job, but once you get some experience from the affiliate marketing position, then you can move into this one. Then you could even move into a position such as director of affiliate marketing, and they make 105 to 192 thousand dollars a year. And also, similar personalities might enjoy this would be a digital marketing specialist, and they make about 45 to 73 thousand dollars a year. So either of these positions are digital marketing related, and they're both excellent in terms of career opportunities, both at the entry level as well as down the line. And there are are literally high schoolers that are able to land jobs doing this. For instance, Keyshawn landed a $70,000 a year job and he was only 20 years old. He basically skipped college in order to do digital marketing. And if you wanna know the exact training that helped Keyshawn do that, there's actually a link which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that will tell you what digital marketing is, the different career options in digital marketing and exactly how you can get into it. So definitely click that link to check it out. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now, one type of digital marketing is content marketing. And one type of content marketing is live streaming. And of course, there's lots of people who live stream on channels like Twitch or YouTube. And there's a position that you can get involved with where you manage live streams. And this is a live stream manager, also known as a streamer manager. And a lot of the time, this is going to be a position where you're working for a gaming studio and you reach out and manage relationships between the studio and the streamer. So it's almost like being a talent scout for a sports team, except you're doing it in the gaming world instead. And there is a lot of people consuming content, both both live stream as well as replays of live stream. A common platform that does this is YouTube, which has 2 billion monthly active users. Now, if you don't wanna work a job and you wanna learn how to grow your own YouTube brand, I do have a live training, which I will be doing Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, which I'll tell you exactly how I was able to do it. And you can learn not only how to grow your views and your subscribers on YouTube, but how to actually make money, just like one of my clients who's making over $95,000 a month. So definitely check that out down in the description in the pinned comment below. I look forward to meeting you. But yeah, streamer manager 
major can be an incredibly lucrative career. And there's definitely no college degree you need to get in order to get into this career. And in many cases, you don't even need previous experience. You just need to be someone who enjoys watching streams and understands the industry. And streamer managers make 71 to $132,000 a year. Mid-level streamer managers make 101 to $184,000 a year. And head of influencer relations makes 114 to $214,000 a year. So yeah, really good money. Now, another similar career where you'd kind of be working with the community of a streamer would be a community manager. And they make about 45 to $68,000 a year. So that's another job that you might look into if you want to work in that industry. So yeah, lots of opportunities in content creation, streaming, non-streaming content creation, definitely something to look into. This one is a bit harder to land a job just because it's not a traditional career path, but I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a job developer. And this is somebody who basically forms a relationship with employers to secure job opportunities for clients. And typically you're going to be working either for an employment agency or a social service organization. So this is kind of like being a recruiter in reverse. Recruiters usually recruit people for companies. And in this case, you're recruiting companies for people. And in this position, you make about 55 to $83,000 a year. Another job you could go into that's somewhat similar would be an employment specialist. They make 48 to $72,000 a year. And then a higher level job would be an employment program manager. They make about 71 to $123,000 a year. And then of course, another similar job would be a career counselor. They make about 48 to 72,000. So overall, lots of opportunities here. You can not only land a job yourself, but you can help a bunch of other people land jobs as well. I really like this one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of jobs, go ahead and comment down below what your favorite job is or one that you didn't like or one that you thought I should have mentioned, but I didn't. I always love to read the comments. And in many cases, I will actually include them in future videos. Next on the list is going to be a digital sales representative. And this is where your charm and communication skills over the internet internet can lead to loyal digital customers. So this is kind of like a customer service slash sales job at the same time, because you're going to be building and maintaining relationships with clients, delivering product presentations, and closing sales for various different companies remotely. And in this position, you can make about 67 to $114,000 a year. So this is extremely lucrative to get into, doesn't require a college degree, and in many cases does not require previous experience. You can even move into better roles down the line, such as digital sales manager, they make 94 to $168,000 a year or director of digital sales, they make 142 to $264,000 a year. So yeah, this one's great. I always tell people that you should do at least one sales job during your life. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a web researcher. In this position, you're going to gather and analyze internet data for various different types of clients. And you can work remotely for companies in many different industries. Now, a mind blowing stat here is there is 3.5 billion Google searches every single day. And that's basically half of the entire Earth's population asking Google a question every day, which is crazy to think about. And that's why a position like this is so valuable. And web researchers make about 41 to $63,000 a year. And that's not bad for an entry level job that doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And down the line in the career path, you can make even more money. So online research analysts make about 52 to $86,000 a year and online research managers make about 81 to $136,000 a year. And then there's similar positions that you could go into that are kind of a horizontal move, such as internet research analysts, they make 61 to $107,000 a year. So yeah, overall, this one's really good. If you're good at finding things on the internet and extracting data and looking things up, this could be a great opportunity for you. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a claims examiner. And in this position, you're basically going to review and process insurance claims. And you're going to make sure that all the information is accurate, it complies with company policy, and it complies with the law. And typically, you're going to be working either for insurance companies or health organizations. Now, you can always check out a day in the life video such as this one from Kayla. She basically spends her days reviewing insurance claims, contacting policyholders for additional information, and determining the validity of the claim. And claims examiners make about forty-nine dollars to $71,000 a year, so it's pretty good money starting right off the bat. Now, sometimes they may require that you have a little bit of previous experience, something like customer service or general office work, but sometimes it doesn't matter. Or sometimes you can just say that, you know, you have some freelancing experience or something along those lines and you can bypass that. But you definitely do not need a college degree for most of these positions. And down the line, you can make even more money. So senior claims examiners make 82 to $131,000 a year and claims supervisors make 75 to $122,000 a year. And then there are similar positions that you can go into such as claims adjuster. They make 40 
39 to $74,000 a year. So yeah, overall, pretty good one. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but it's relatively easy to get into. I'll go ahead and give this one a seven and a half out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a patient advocate. And this is where your compassion and organization skills can make a real difference in a patient's life. And basically you're going to be assisting patients in understanding and managing their healthcare options. And often they're going to work in hospitals, insurance companies, or healthcare organizations. So they're kind of like the travel guides of the medical world, guiding patients through the complex maze of medical terminology and insurance policies. And patient advocates make about 40 to $55,000 a year. And this is another one of those medical related positions. There's literally like thousands of random niche ones out there where you can get into them relatively easily. They pay relatively well. You typically don't need to have a college degree or previous experience. They typically do require training, but usually the company will train you. And yeah, they're just really stable and pretty good. They're not the best, but they're pretty good and they're easy to get into. And there's even other jobs down the line that can pay even better than that. So senior patient advocates make about 47 to $67,000 a year and director of patient advocacy makes about 134 to $240,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a case management assistant. And this is where you're gonna coordinate patient care, manage records and communicate with healthcare providers. And you're gonna be doing this on behalf of a patient. And this is yet another one of those healthcare positions that I told you about that are relatively easy to get into and overall just pretty good. So this one pays about 41 to $58,000 a year. Slightly higher position would be a case manager. They make about forty six dollars to $65,000 a year. Then you could become a case management supervisor. They make about fifty four dollars to $78,000 a year. So pretty good one again. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. These medical careers are good, but they're not great. Next is a lead generation specialist. And this is somebody who basically identifies and cultivates potential customers for businesses, aka leads. And a lead is essentially somebody that a business can contact that is likely to be interested in their product. And one thing that's interesting about lead generation is about 96% of people who visit a website, for instance, aren't ready to buy the product or service. So it's very important to generate opportunities to capture leads. And a really easy way to do this is to simply get somebody on your email list. And a lead generation specialist is going to be very, very good at doing this. And that's why they get paid about 53 to $85,000 a year. And this is one of those new careers that doesn't require a college degree, typically doesn't require much previous experience, or if it does, you can create your own experience and you can move into roles such as lead generation manager. They make 72 to $124,000 a year or a senior marketing manager, which makes 118 to $197,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one, of course, digital marketing related. Check out the free training down in the description in the pinned comment below. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And next is going to be an operations assistant. And operations is basically how a business is run. It's all the boring stuff that, you know, isn't, you know, super exciting, like marketing or sales or coming up with some kind of new awesome strategy to save the world, but it's how to do things on a day-to-day -day basis, making sure that logistics are taken care of, things get to the right place at the right time, making sure that the company has enough supplies, making sure that the right positions are hired at the right time, et cetera, et cetera. So basically coordinating tasks, managing communications and ensuring that projects stay on track. And as an operations assistant, you can make about 42 to $61,000 a year. And you'd likely be the assistant to the operations manager. And another position you could move into would be operations coordinator. They make about 52 to $83,000 a year. And then of course the operations manager themselves, they make about 84 to $146,000 a year. So yeah, this one's really good, leads into a great career path. I think operations is a great skill set to learn. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if you're somebody who does not wanna go to college, you can check out this video I did on 11 high paying certain certifications that lead to really good remote jobs. You can check that out by clicking right here.